Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. This is Jason. All right, so for today, we are going to do something special and different. Right, so today we are going to talk about home solutioning. All right, so there have been many questions asked to me and put forth to me as to what we can use for our homes. All right, so for us in our area, we tend to stay in a lot of apartments and condominiums, and a lot of them are actually getting a lot of fiber connections. And also on top of that, they want to make sure they have very good Wi-Fi and not only just good Wi-Fi, but but also to make sure they can also roam seamlessly from bedrooms to the kitchen to the living room and dining room and so on and so forth all right so today i'm just going to go through some of the quick items that i have put forth in front of me that will be able to give you some ideas when you are designing your home or if you plan to redo your whole home network all right some of you may only have one single router and trying to cover up your home which could be between 1200 square feet to 1600 square feet and so on and a lot of them has actually feedback to me about how do they go about enhancing their home wi-fi right so for that I've made a very quick video to do a very brief introduction. So what we have here is a full suite of solution from TP-Link, which is also part of their managed Wi-Fi solution. Okay, so in front of me right here, what we have here, this is the gigabit uh, VPN router from TP-Link. Right, the model number is ER605. It has a single WAN port and four LAN ports. All right, so from here, you can plug in your single 1GB internet port, be it from any of the telcos in Singapore. And from here, you can spread on to your room data points, or if you want, you can connect it to your switch ports on your data DB. Some of them may have your stuff in your DB room, or some of you may have additional data ports. Some may only have two or three ports in your flats and some may have more right so for those who has a lot more data ports what i have here is also another model of a poe switch which allows you to have poe access points all right which is directly wired back to the switch and to the router okay so over here i have a 2210 mp right this is a full power poe switch the reason being because some of you may actually have also a IP camera, which is also powered by PoE, or you may have additional in-war APs, which I have previously done a video about. You can see here, right? So it has actually connections onto the back of the RJ45 where you can power it up. Okay, so for this EAP615 in-wall, this is where you can power up to your data point where you can reconnect all right so the advantage about this is that it actually has additional three data ports so some of you have actually placed this in your tv console area where you can actually connect your smart tv here and still have additional two more ports and on top of that you still have wi-fi coverage coming from the front all right so with two additional data ports some of you may put your consoles or additional um audio video stuff okay i'm not sure some of you have a lot of stuff okay most importantly is to make sure that your smart tv is also connected by cable all right so the cable will then go back here and goes back to your switch on either the router or on the poe switch which i have over here okay so now for poe switch there are actually a quite a number of options okay i tend to go with eight port being that you don't want to come to a time where you're re you're designing and you're putting up all your cables and you run out of ports with the eight ports it's actually very sufficient for most of our homes in singapore where we have additional ports that are actually pre-laid by HDB in our home or by a developer so each of the rooms will actually connect to one of the ports here okay if you don't wish to connect the ports then just leave it and you may only only use the router but i don't suggest you to do that you'll never know when you have enough data ports okay having additional data ports is always an advantage okay so if you find that the 2210 mp is too much the next model that i suggest could be the sg2008 okay so this is an eight port gigabit switch which has half power where there's four poe ports with power okay so that's another option for you All right so for the switches just make sure that you have at least i'll say minimally four ports with poe all right so what will happen is you will actually either connect to your ceiling mount ap right so over here i have the 11ax 1800 which is the eap 610 okay 
and similarly it can be powered by poe over here as you can see or you can power by ac if you wish to place it on a desk okay in case you want to place it on the desk mount at your study room or your kids room or in your kitchen or in between all right some people tend to also put it in between your dining room and or your living room okay so that's also an option right so over here i have actually gone through with you the router and the switch okay now try to go with the in wall ap which i have here as an option so you can have provide ample coverage now so long as you have a whole solution from a single vendor so it's like for example if it's going to be a tp-link solution if you have the router from tp-link if you have the switch from tp-link you can have the controller from tp-link and there you can have the whole complete solution okay so for those who are into ip cam, um, tv camps okay ip um, ip cameras tp-link also have a range of um, ip cameras which are also similarly powered by poe okay and they can also similarly be controlled by its app okay so tp-link has actually provided a full suite of apps for you where you can manage your network the omada series okay you got to make sure that you're buying the omada series and you will have the omada management and there you can have centralized management for all your products okay be sure to keep a lookout when you're purchasing the tp-link management wi-fi system to be part of the Omada centralized management. So how do we identify um, products from TP-Link that are part of Omada? You will see that it will have the Omada logo and on top of that, it will also show you that it is TP-Link Omada centralized management. So you know that this router or this device or the product can and will be able to be managed through the Omada system, okay? And you can easily manage and install okay so that's for the omada side now for the home um, monitoring they have actually recently also launched a very new product okay which i have behind me and that is the tapo c420 s2 okay that's battery powered so you can actually have battery power which can last for up to a week easily and it actually has uh, monitoring sensors you can see here and also led lights okay so those are extra and you can of course similarly connect to the wi-fi over here to get your surveillance done for your home now of course with the tapau you have your google and amazon alexia connection and in, if you are into uh, google you can definitely also similarly control the devices through your google okay so that is a package where there's two cameras with a battery and you have a whole system for you if that's not for you and you prefer to go everything by cable and wire you can of course go with the tp-link vg system where you can also of course enjoy uh, multiple cameras with this 2210 mp switch because it's all poe powered and of course you can add additional four or five cameras on top of your ap for most homes i will usually suggest to have two ap's because the router itself is a wired is a dedicated wired router so all it does is does all the routing job and assigning of ips there's no wi-fi in this all right so what's going to happen is from your isp's um, ont or onr you'll plug directly to the wang and the rest are all LAN ports okay now for some who has actually two isps you can also similarly use this where it allows you to have two wangs in the router itself okay with that you will be able to do much more where you can have uh, load balancing so for that you can do your balancing whether you want um, which isp to do your traffic and of course at the same time if isp1 is full you can switch over to you will help you load balance with the second wang over here where you have second isp all right so that's the idea behind using 605 of course they also have similarly larger routers right so for most homes this wide router will definitely more than suffice for you to handle our 1 gbps internet and if you have two then you just put it into load balancing okay they can't bond all right they're not going to bond together the idea is more for load balancing okay not for aggregation all right so for homes we don't really go into aggregation it's more for balancing the our routing okay so that's very very important and as usual um i would like to also specify on the and stress on using a in wall right the idea behind this is if you've seen my previous video it can actually fit into our uk socket and where you can have um 88 by 88 and it will fit very very nicely into it 
okay and you can flush it into the wall with that okay so this has also a very shiny surface it's not a matte surface, so don't worry about it. It's not going to spoil your decor. Um, there's no stickers to change any colors, so the color is going to remain. And as for the AP, similarly, this is the color that it comes with. And um, it's very, very small and nice. And of course, what we want is to have the two key things, which is the centralized management and the seamless roaming. Okay, Like I mentioned earlier, seamless roaming only works if it's a complete suite. Okay, if it's not a complete suite, you're not going to have a seamless roaming. Okay, and if you do not have seamless roaming, what's going to happen? You're going to associate with AP and disassociate and reassociate again. Okay, so that's what's happening right now for a lot of homes. So that's something that I will hope to educate more on, and especially for users who are actually into good Wi Fi for your homes. Okay, a good suggestion would be to get two of these. Okay, two AX1800, which is the EAP610, and it's um, 11AX, it's Wi-Fi 6, or the latest. And all this equipment actually comes with three years warranty, and all localized three years warranty. And of course, there is a number which you can dial if you have any issues, and all the support is all there for you. Okay, just make sure that you look out for the sticker that's available on the box. All packaging all has the sticker for three years warranty. Now for the three years warranty, it starts from the day of purchase and you, you basically keep the invoice. And if you have any issues, just go to the service center and explain your issues. If it's faulty, they'll change a new unit for you. It's just as simple as that. Okay. If the power adapter is faulty, just bring it along with the packaging and of course the receipt. They will look at it and they will verify and they will make sure by checking on the serial number and they will know when you purchase it and they will give you a new unit. All right. It's as simple as that. It doesn't have to be very complicated for that. Now, other than that, if you have any questions with regards to today's uh, video where I'm explaining on the router, the switch, and the two APs, and of course the IP cameras, please feel free to leave a note or comment in my channel and I will definitely get back to you. All this information for all the devices are all available on the TP-Link website. Okay, all right. If you have any questions, as usual, uh, remember to leave me a comment and do remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.